to me like you're trying to make excuses. Chuggle milk. That's the last of it, filthy rich. Just rich, please. Filthy Rich possesses forbidden knowledge of when he's appearing in a new episode due to the unwritten rule of the universe compelling ponies to call him by his full name at least once per episode. You kept track of what went into which crate, right? Oh, um... Your family sells Apple products, Apple Bloom. This is your one job. This episode was later censored to remove all 18 uses of the word cider and replace them with juice. Some of you right now think this is a joke, but no, they really did go through all that trouble. Did you pack up the cider? Did you pack up the juice? Cider season's around the corner. Juice season's around the corner. Right after we have a glass of cider. Right after we have a glass of Juice. Starlight Whimper. Granny knows I, I wasn't trying to make off with a shipment of cider, right? We know exactly whose fault it was. Long-standing overconfidence leading to a failure to properly label boxes? Nah, the filly who didn't take the time to open each and every one to check is at fault. You've never told a lie in your whole life. Apple Bloom hasn't even seen season two. <laughs> <laughs> but they have. Transition to the past reveals that this rope has never been used. Ideas are all well and good, but you can't plow a field with them. The patent office would be inclined to disagree. I'd like you to meet my fiance, Spoiled Milk. It's quite an achievement to not only be Worst Pony, but also have the Worst Pony name. I'm the one with the ideas on how to run things better around here. I'm guessing it'll be the one with the best ideas. Filthy Rich conveniently references a prior conversation which you couldn't possibly know about. Money talks, but apparently it also listens to private conversations. Rich makes a business deal with a child, then acts surprised when it doesn't work out. Big Mac may be the only pony to have ever been told to shut up who proceeded to practically never speak again. Ah, Granny will love the idea. Yeah, surely Granny will love the idea which her opposition to was clearly established just moments ago. It's pretty normal for cartoon characters to pull random objects out of invisible pockets. But this zap apple jar appears on the ground in front of her. Cider starts to spoil the second it comes out the press. So which is it? A North American cider which spoils quickly? Or an alcoholic beverage requiring censorship? This question is rhetorical. Obviously it's a magical drink, which is only alcoholic to certain ponies. Also, if Granny doesn't want to make cider unless it can be enjoyed fresh, why were all those crates of it sitting around in the beginning for Apple Bloom to mix up? Unless those were the alcoholic ones. Big Mac steals a look at his future magic potion-induced lover. Also, That's how every pony was wearing their mane back then. Cheerly has been caught in 4K as a liar. Elder abuse. Can you go out to the barn? In her haste to distract Granny, Applejack forgets that they live in the barn. Your brother was just explaining why he always wears his yoke. A yoke joins two draft animals together. This is actually a draft collar, but I guess when you're the only pony doing something, you get to name it whatever you want. Applejack runs over to Granny to hide her in the barn, but there's no way Rich wouldn't have spotted her while Applejack ran to the barn. Elder abuse. Granny thinks AJ has been here the whole time to listen to her story and somehow doesn't question how AJ could have possibly intercepted the news about apple blight spreading to ponies and that the hospital needs her help. They left long before the apples did, but are only arriving now. Must have been weighed down by all that money. Use of the Red Cross symbol is against the Geneva Conventions. It's why Nurse Redheart later got a new cutie mark, and it's why many video games had to change their health packs. Yep, My Little Pony is guilty of an international war crime. Checkmate, bronies. An additional sin for going through all the effort of censoring the word cider, but not fixing the actual war crime. Why can't you be granny? You just ramble on and on until we all got caught. Just lay down, keep still, and promise me you won't say anything. In other words, don't ramble on and on until you all get yep. caught? Why is he the one under the sheet again? This guy steals an unidentified body and brings it to an operating theater for unspecified reasons. Oh hey, a random body! Time for this backwater hospital to learn what's inside of ponies. You two, don't lose that gurney! Oh, and don't look under the sheet while I'm gone! Come, Come play, play with, with us, Granny! Granny. Derpy's eyes were simply too strong for the hospital to alter. Their feeble attempts only made her more powerful. Don't worry, this is our best doctor. Apparently there's nothing in the Hippocratic Oath about lying. There is no reason for Rich not to immediately recognize Granny. Other than plot convenience, that is. Apple blight is a serious disease. I think she said gasket mites. This mare is standing inches away from Granny and somehow misheard. Not only should Granny recognize this as a pony's leg, but she was also directly told the blight had spread to ponies. But she forgets both because shenanigans got a shenanigan. The only thing to do is 
was prune the branch. Did you say prune them branches? No, she said prune the branches. Not only is she partially deaf, but she also assumes improper grammar from accent alone. Amputation, you know, for legs. And for kids. They are in a hospital's operating theater, yet for some reason every pony reacts with horror at the thought of operating. AJ is hiding Granny from Rich, but she doesn't think to hide Rich from Granny. Granny could have easily had a word with him and put this whole thing to an end long ago. Granny removes her mask for no reason other than to make a dramatic reveal to Rich, even though she is less disguised than Clark Kent. So she's not a doctor. This this guy is smart enough to collect evidence for the forthcoming criminal charges. You can't just walk into a hospital, dress up as a doctor, and start performing operations without repercussions, Granny. I hope you learned something too. I sure did! I learned that no pony starts out perfect, and sometimes you gotta make a few mistakes to figure out who you are. Apple Bloom somehow interprets the exact opposite of the lying is bad lesson. You've never told a lie in your whole life! Now, now, the thing is, Rich, it ain't really up to us. I had no idea. Uh, excuse me one second. Ah!